In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some pretty crazy Nick Nurse basketball plays. Some of these could work at the high school level and others are just absolutely plain crazy. Let's get down, let's check them out. Okay, so this first play has four players lined up and essentially it's basically like a football style play. It's actually quite crazy how amazing this really was. So basically what we have is one of the top three point shooters on the team, our two big men. We're going to have our point guard right here, basically initiating the pass into the high post to OG Ananobi. After that pass goes into OG Ananobi, we're going to have a fake dribble handoff to Van Fleet who's going to go down into the corner and then we're going to be having, if we were rewind this just a bit those three players over here the two closest players to the center are going to be setting a staggered screen for the best shooter or at least one of the best shooters on the team Gary Trent Jr. is going to come off of that staggered screen and then he's going to be getting the DHO the dribble handoff by OG Ananobi this is actually a very crazy play because now his defender has to weave between two screens and a DHO there is almost a guarantee that you're going to get either an open three or an open drive to the basket and the even more crazier part is if you do end up driving towards the basket so many players here will make the mistake and of course help off it should be a player coming from that side and if that was to happen you really want Van Fleet or your other good shooter to move from the corner up to the wing so that you can have an easy kick out pass for a three point shot. However, here we do get a layup, but was this actually on purpose? Nobody will really ever know, but it's actually quite interesting if it was on purpose because that secondary player on that screen is rolling towards the basket. And if you basically drop it off the backboard, you could get an alley-oop dunk. I'm not too sure if that was actually on purpose or not. I don't think anyone really knows, but it's still an interesting and crazy play. This is actually a very similar play with Kyle Lowry from last year. Here. here instead he attacks the basket this could have been a drop-off pass to Lowry we're still going to have that staggered screen from the corner in this case it's for Powell however coming off of that staggered screen instead of it turning into a DHO what we're seeing here is a three-point shot from the point off of that staggered screen this is actually a very common action in my own basketball offense that I run with my team where with my team we run the five out offense obviously link down down in the description below for the complete guide to the five out offense but what I have with my team is actually kind of similar where we would have the pass over to the wing and then we would set a staggered screen down for that corner player here that corner player will pop off for the point where he would then receive that sh that basically what should be an open three-point shot it's actually a very similar play now after that pass is set, I always try to teach my team that we need to move off ball quite a bit where if, let's say, th player three was not open for a shot, we would still have that pin down screen from the passer where now player five would pop up for the potential for a three-point shot for himself. It's actually kind of a very similar but yet still different play. But instead, basically what we're having is the pass into the high post with this Nick Nurse play, the drive or cut to the basket, and then of course the staggered screen away for Norman Powell for that three-point shot. We can actually see how this could have turned into that same play as what we've seen at first as well. But instead, we do see Norman Powell miss the shot Hopefully, yourself, if you run this play, could make that shot. And then we see, of course, instead here, it's almost like the same style five-out offense as what I just showed you, where we have the wing player setting a screen for the corner player, where the secondary screen is going to be a dribble handoff. This is another great option, where now that first player could be rolling towards the basket, and we're going to be having a wing-to-corner pin-down screen as well. In this case, it looks like it's for, I can't say as many name Milicic or either way anyways so that could be an open drive for of course this player the initial screener or if we if you want you can have him go to the corner like we see for of course the Toronto Raptors but that DHO is the one that rolls to the basket with Toronto where of course Siakam gets that ball back and teaches Joel Embiid uh, a few lessons and this is actually a pretty good five out offense as well again link down in the description below but 
coming off of that that screen and as well as that that dribble handoff, player two could obviously shoot that ball. Player four is going to be setting a pin down screen for player one, where this could be an option for a three as well. We always want to have multiple options in our offenses that we run, and of course, player three, depending on where he sets that screen, he could roll to the basket and then pop out as well. There's a couple of different options, and if he did roll towards the basket before popping out, this could be an option for a layup too, and it could really mess with the defense as well. And then, of course, if player two was to attack that free throw line, coming off of a point two wing DHO, you generally want to attack that free throw line, mainly because it could drop off a hedging defender. And if that was the case, then of course, we would have player five, as we see in the video, rolling to the basket for hopefully an open layup or dunk. These are very simple offenses that kind of are crazy if you really think about it. Obviously the last two are a little bit simpler and easier and probably more well known than that first one, but that first one is still in my opinion, quite crazy. Make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out basketball offense down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.